Hi, this is Toby with Topic Trading. I'm a little late this week, so this week we will be doing a midweek review instead. Starting out with the daily chart, we are looking at the ES mini futures, the daily, where one bar represents one day. And looking back at the past week, the past days, finally we had a big bullish correctional move here. And if we draw our channel around this move, our trend channel, starting from the bottom through the first bars, maybe like so. It could be that we have a smaller sh up channel with the with the overshot already, but since the trend channel line fits pretty well here uh, in the gap here between these bars as well, this might be it. It doesn't really matter though if we have an overshot or not of the uh, of the smaller uptrend, because I think it's likely anyway that we will see a continuation of this move to the upside. Uh, it's just such a strong move, big bars, more or less no retracement between the bars. So it's it's a very strong move. We might find some pause here, and maybe some retracement, which is just normal. But after that, I think it's likely that we will continue up for some more. It's likely that we will reach the the trend line of this uh, the larger downtrend channel. And if this is the correct structure for the the larger downtrend with the overshot down here, it might be that we sur even surpass the trend line here to the upside. Uh, and go beyond it with about the same distance that we had the overshot of here. So if we surpass the trend line of the larger downtrend, uh, the next likely target is probably the, the outer band of the envelope bands here to the upside. And then it's just a wait and see again. If uh, this bullish trend continues and we will just forget about the bearishness for now and continue upwards and even go as high to retest the the former high up here, or if we have to turn back again to the downside and retest the the lows of this this larger downtrend structure. So we just have to wait and see. But for now and for the for the near future, I believe that we will at least continue a bit to the upside to uh, yeah reach uh, reach the trend line of the larger downtrend structure, and if we surpass that. Uh, go to the outer band of the, the onload bands. And if this is the the correct smaller uptrend channel, obviously we haven't seen a break of this yet, so we uh, after we see the break of this, we'll probably retest this one to the highs as well. So that's it for the daily chart. And let's flip over to the news events for this week. Monday and Tuesday have already passed, so we are on Wednesday. And we have our first potentially uh, high red impact event at 8.15 this morning on Wednesday. And the times you're seeing here are US Central time. So 8.15, that's 15 minutes before open. Uh, potential red, high impact. Fed, Sher Powell speaks. And then Thursday morning at 7.30 a.m., which is uh, one hour before open, we have the unemployment claims. And then also tomorrow morning, Sorry, tomorrow Thursday in the afternoon at 1 p.m. we have another Fed Chair Powell speaks. Friday morning at 9 a.m., which is 30 minutes after open, we have both a red potentially high impact and one orange potentially medium impact. The consumer sentiment and inflation expectations. So why are we looking at these news events now again? That's just because these kind of events can potentially cause a lot of volatility to the market, which in turn can cause troubles with your orders, such as uh, slippage, etc. So we do really want to keep this in mind and don't trade half an hour to an hour before to half an hour to an hour after, just to avoid that potential volatility. So that's it for this week. I really wish you a great the rest of the week and good trades to you. Take care, everybody. Bye.